Welcome to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? But, but Beds empty, no note, car gone. Um, Could have crashed. Mom, Out I... of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've but lived. Mom. Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. <laughs> You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with the Dursleys so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Dad took a machine from Gamble and James, so we could test the power of our spells. Don't worry about getting the shield to the top, Potter. Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. Flipenda the glass jar, Harry. <laughs> Try hitting the glass jar with Flipendo. Let's go, Harry. Hit the glass jar. That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh. Oh. When you're ready, we'll meet you in the barn. <laughs> there are gnomes everywhere! Ugh. Look, they're up in the rafters. <laughs> okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter. <laughs> in the barnyard. <laughs> Number three, Elfrida Clagg. Go see what's outside. Number one, Merlin. We'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And watch out when the washing machine opens its door. And keep moving around it and cast for Penda when the door is open.
ask Flipendo when his doors open. Almost got it beaten, Harry! You can only damage it when the doors open. I'd love to see that in Aunt Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. We'll meet you in the garden when you're ready, Harry. Get a move on, Potter. We need to get a move on with the Dinomi. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Wow, I've got to try this. Be my guest. And remember, flipendo the gnome Pick it up, spin it round, and chuck it over the low wall. <laughs> I bet you can't throw a gnome as far as Fred did. Or hit any of the targets in the fields over there. Give it another go! Excellent! on target. Number eight, Derwent Shrimpling. Brilliant throw, Harry. <laughs> Excellent. It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an Excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. Mrs. Beasley woke them all early the following Wednesday, 
She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day.
go. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. Number 98, Dymphna Firmage.
Oh, lot. That's locked. Number five, Gulliver Pokeby. Only gone one fireplace too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. No powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the hearth when you used the flu powder. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. this book? The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshhawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. 
I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Jake's. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell tape. So I think that must be in the leaky cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Jake's, and the leaky cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Oh! 